Welcome to the 2016 National Summit on Education Reform. We are so glad that you could join us this year. We have many new faces with more than 1,100 attendees from 49 states and four countries. You all can help me next year. We need to get some elected officials from North Dakota. They're the only state not represented this year. This growth just shows the growth in the education movement as more leaders and educators prioritize the future of their children in their states. You know, we're here because we recognize the preeminent role that states play in managing their own education systems. This is now our ninth gathering, but our goal is the same as the first summit we had in 2008. Over the next two days, we want to equip you with knowledge and ideas and inspiration to take back home and change your state systems. Next summer, an estimated 3.2 million students will graduate from public high schools. Some of them will graduate prepared for college or trained to be successful in a well-paying career, but tragically, most will not. You know and I know that we can and must do better for all students, and that's why we're here. Over the next two days, you'll have a chance to learn about a wide range of topics and hear from a great lineup of speakers. We hope you will exchange information and ideas and take those back home. The future of your students, your state, and our nation depend on it. And now, it's my pleasure to introduce you to students from the District of Columbia International School, a local charter school. This Tier 1 charter school is an international baccalaureate candidate. It offers students advanced Chinese, French, and Spanish language instruction in a technology-rich learning environment. This school is nurturing students, preparing them to be engaged, knowledgeable, and caring citizens who will make an impact on their communities in the world. Every child, every child deserves access to such an excellent education. And this is why we hold our national summit, to empower you, leaders, to return back to your states and make a difference and become champions for your children. So ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance with these fantastic men and women young men.